so welcome back um it's jackie and i'm back uh with another tag tutorial um we're just going to do a simple collaged tag this time but before i get on with that i just want to do a couple of things um one of them sorry i thought it was somebody at the door um one of them is to just share with you some happy mail i received um after christmas but it was the tag swap from Carol's channel, Carol from Oak House Journals, and this is the one I received from Carol, which is stunning. Just one moment. They're all, these are all such beautiful gifts. Um, this was the, uh, from my swap partner, Linda Bloom. Linda said she's, um, well, she didn't actually say she was a beginner. She implied she was a beginner, but I just think that is beautiful. I love the colours. Um, this kind of decoupage, delicately cut out, the charms, everything about that is just so pretty. I love the subdued red and green. And she'd wrapped that um, in this. A few extra bits in the back as well there. So thank you, Linda. And then um, my friend Leanne in Australia sent me a gift. This was part of it. You may have seen this on her Instagram. Um, I'll try and remember to put a link under underneath for these people. Um, Leanne sent me a beautiful um, tea towel with fairy wrens on it. Brand new, absolutely gorgeous colours. Um, and I'm using it to cover my posh sewing machine which is over there in the other corner she sent me some lace um, which I told her I was going to hoard but she said I mustn't um, I must use it so that has been absorbed into my stash Leanne I am using it and this little book it's called a star book um, and I've seen these before I've never actually made one it's always been I've always wanted to never got around to it but it you can hang it, um, obviously this is a Christmas one, so you can hang it or rest it um, open like this as as a ornament, I suppose, for Christmas. Um, Leanne cut these letters out by hand, which is a true labour of love, I would think. <laughs> so I appreciate that, Leanne, very much. Um, and these beautiful little die cuts. This is so pretty. Gold thread. I've never seen thread quite like that before. Um, and in the back here, there's a little tag. So thank you for that so much, um, all of you. Really appreciate it. And they will be coming out next Christmas. Um, on my last uh, tag tutorial, I promised you um, a sneak peek of the journal I'm working on at the moment. And I forgot. This is it. Um, Pockets are done, it's sewn together, and I've just got to add bits to that. Right, so this tag is very simple. It's a collage background, a bit of stamping, and a focal image um, fussy cut on the front. So to start off, I've cut my card, I've cut my card to two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Um, each one. I've taken the corners off with my credit card and I've covered each tag with tea dyed paper. And the next thing I'm going to do is show you how I approach um, a very simple collage on these tags. So bear with me while I gather my bits and I'll be back shortly. So I've gathered, um, these are just out of my scrap um, envelope that I've got to the side of me there and they're just bits, um, pages, all sorts of bits that I've uh, saved and I'm going to collage these in a very simple way. I'm going to put one piece on this side and one piece on this side. Um, I quite like using numbers on one side so um, and this is just guesswork really. So that will probably go there and then 
um, a darker piece um, of text. It's got a bit of both on. So I'll just want to take that and we'll put that piece there. So I'm going to do that first. on that side and then I just use my scissors these are a bit gluey so I'll use these non-stick scissors I've got some Tim Holtz ones somewhere um, so as soon as you do that you end up with a really simple but quite effective collage um, so I'm going to do something similar to this for each of these. I'm going to make seven. Um, I don't know why seven. I picked out seven um, images. I've already got these fussy cut out. I've got two flower fairies. You can see they'll go on. I've got uh, two birds. And I've got three floral. So I will carry on with this. Um, doing my bit of gluing and then I'll be back to show you how I proceed. Thank you. Right, I'm going to do some stamping on these tags. Um, I've chosen this selection from the Tim Holtz um, Field Notes. Is this called Field Notes? I think it might be called Field Notes, I can't remember. Oh, here we are, Field Notes. <laughs> it's just on the packet, Field Notes. Um, and I'm probably going to do them all the same just for the ease really and I'm using Archival Ink in Jet Black and Vermilion so we will start with the um, Jet Black and this larger one I don't mind if these don't stamp particularly well um, it, uh, it doesn't matter at this stage This number I'm going to do in the red ink. And at the bottom we'll have this one here. And I'm going to redo the postage stamp just because I want another circle at the bottom. Going to do something similar on all of those tags and then we'll come back and finish off with some Tracy Fox labels, our focal point and um, the uh, tag topper. So I will see you all shortly. So I've finished, I've finished the stamping and I've chosen two labels from Tracy Fox's number, number labels. Um, and I'm just going to go through and glue these down uh, roughly as I've got them set out like this. So let's do this one. I quite like them going off the edge a little bit. And then this floral one. glue stick is a little bit, um, it's quite good, good, gosh, I can't get my words out, quite good permanent glue, it sticks really well, 
but it's a little bit um, sort of sticky. So when I'm doing these more delicate um, fussy cuts, you have to be a bit careful when you're putting the glue on. And I want that to be approximately like that. So that's that one. If we cut the edges off. our tag nearly finished. So I'm going to go through and do that for all of them. Um, do it on camera so you can stay or you can skip forward if um, if you've had enough. Uh, perhaps see how I finish them off. Um, once I've glued them all I'm going to stitch round the edge of each one using a neutral sort of um, thread and then I'm going to put an eyelet in the centre here and choose some pretty sari silks to finish them off. So this is the next one. I did decide not to use the birds. Um, I wanted something that would fill these up a little bit more. So I think they're either flower fairy or um, Floral. I sometimes use the art glitter glue for these more delicate ones, but Speed here, try this, see how we get on. is the flower fairy Three. This was one of the ones that had a bird on it originally. So I'll snip that one.
and I'm going to finish off the other three, stitch round the edges and then I'll come back to you. Right, so I've stitched round, um, glued them all and I'm going to finish them off. I've been through my scrap box of sari silks um, and found colours that um, I think work okay. Um, so I'm going to put an eyelet in the top of each one. And then I'm going to do just a very standard, this is quite thick, I'm going to cut this one down a bit. Okay, it's not going to tear, so let's cut it. made it a bit thinner. There's one. This one I couldn't find any yellow. I don't use yellow a huge amount, certainly not in sari silks. So I used um, the background colour for this one. Which is an off-white creamy colour. Little bits everywhere. That's that one. The blackberries. Again, my piece is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm just going to cut it down a touch. So this is our first little flower fairy. This one is quite wide like the others, but it's a softer, sort of softer sari silk, so it's a bit easier to thread through. She says. Flower fairy. We've got our purple flowers. a bit of dud. 
pattern sometimes with sari silks. Let's see if we can do it. I've got just about enough left, I think. I think sometimes in the dyeing process, um, so we won't pull too hard on this one. These berries. This one, another yellow one. Um, I did find a little bit of green and yellow sari, which isn't long enough to loop through like I've done the others. Um, but what I'll do with this one is the double. If you watched my last tag tutorial, you'd have seen me do this with twine. this in a bow. It just shows you another finish as well. got seven tags made in a relatively short space of time with a collaged background, a little bit of stamping, some of Trace's labels. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon.